rare that we hear someone wishing us a meaningful advent rather than a Merry Christmas even in November. Well, this week, though we find ourselves still in the midst of brokenness and pain, we hear a very different vocabulary describing an Advent season. While we are in the deep darkness of John the Baptist's cry in the desert, we also hear and welcome these words from Isaiah. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Though our season of darkness continues, though we wade through a world that seeks to drown us in its sin, though we hear convicting words from God's prophet warning us to repent and change our ways, though we feel still this pain, we hear from Isaiah that God does indeed have a vision for our future. We hear in Isaiah that God dreams of a beautiful world, that the dry desert blooms, there will be rejoicing and singing, and God's glory will shine. Even when we cannot see an end to darkness, even when the desert places seem to extend into eternity, we know from Isaiah's voice that light is coming and that the dark and that the desert will be traversed. In the face of such torment around us and seemingly unconquerable issues in our world, issues like hunger and violence, issues like poverty or prejudice, it can be easy to feel discouraged. There are so many things that stand in the way between us and the action, so many aspects to our human fragility which can paralyze us and discourage us. I sometimes compare the vastness of our brokenness to infinity, and any attempt to understand or comprehend this vastness can make us dizzy. In this Advent season, with John's words fresh in our ears, it can be easy to acutely feel the weakness of our bodies, the smallness of our individuality, the limitation of our perspective, and the heaviness of our grief. In John's calls justice and action, where can we start? But in Isaiah's words, we find hope once again. This isn't a hope that is fragile or disposable. Rather, this is a hope that breeds certainty. This is a hope that strengthens us when we feel weak. This is a hope that binds us to something bigger than ourselves. This is a hope that shines light when we find ourselves in a dark place. Listen to Isaiah's words. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful, fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. God will come and save you. Do not fear the vastness of our brokenness. For God, the vision is bigger even than that vastness. Do not fear breaking your fragile bodies. For God soon will take on that same fragility as a human baby. And God will do wondrous things in that fragile human body. <clears throat> do not fear current or coming grief. For God is stronger than loss and even death. Listen to Isaiah's words. Take these words home and study these words. Read these words every day this Advent season. It's because of these words. It's in these words that we find resolution to John's cry for change. These words show us the way out of darkness and even transforms a dry and barren wasteland into beautiful blossoms. Hear these words. Listen for God's promises. Listen to Isaiah's imagery. Find for yourself an Advent hope. I'm going to read the text again. Sometimes in our staff meetings, we'll read a text up to three times, and then we can ponder what it means for us, what stands out to us, what imagery tools at our hearts. I encourage you to use this time for the same. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall bloom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands, make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. <laughs> Here is your God. God will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. God will come and save you. 
Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For water shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reeds and rushes. A highway will be there, and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beast come upon it. They shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion the same. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. Amen. Amen.